Once again on the Fury Road with Miller and Furiosa. Let's get into it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Furiosa, the film that we've been waiting nearly 10 years for George Miller to create after the majesty that was Fury Road. Fury Road was one of my favorite movies of the last decade for a myriad of reasons between the fantastic stunt work, the impeccable editing, the insane music that I do not allow in my car anymore for safety reasons, the fantastic characters, the incredible pacing, the entire intensity of it all, and getting the recognition for almost everything it deserves. So when it comes to Furiosa, obviously there's going to be some comparisons, and first off, it's not the same movie. It is not. It's a legacy of a character. Whereas the previous movies that Miller's made, they were maybe what, like a couple of weeks or a couple of days in time span. I think the longest one was the first one. This one spans 15 years, if not 20 years, because we're seeing Furiosa as this young nurtured lady in the green place and being taken away from that and being corrupted and broken down via traumatic experience after traumatic experience of the wasteland and turning into the older version of her played by Anya Taylor-Joy before she becomes Charlie Theron and all of the events that come to be that interact with both characters that we know from Fury Road as well as new ones including Chris Hemsworth's character. Chris Hemsworth is clearly having a fun time like probably everyone's gonna say that. He's a wacky crazy bike lord who lives on anarchy but also tries to be a good leader but doesn't really see the faults of his own actions and just this wacky dude that has a teddy bear that's attached to him and you can't trust what he's saying but he's also got this just he knows just really cool fun little character if not maybe not as evil as the movie is imposing him to be especially in comparison to say like morton joe half of his goons, any of the other villains that we've had from the Mad Max movies. And that is kind of the beginning of the chipping away of the movie for me. Not that Hemsworth is bad in this, it's just how the story is played out and how it comes to his conclusion. They're kind of making it as though he's this big, evil, awful villain, and I think he's just a bad guy, but enjoyable. Let's go on to Furiosa. Furiosa, I thought that the younger actress did a phenomenal job. Very little dialogue from her, but still exceptional in the upbringing of the character, showing us what made her what she is, and then Anya taking on the reins through about halfway through the movie and showing some pretty awesome action sequences, some pretty traumatic stuff, as well as just what built her character to be who she is. I think that they both did a great job. I think that they both did exceptional. Funnily enough, she says even less than Mad Max did, and I actually think that was okay. Yeah, I find that these are movies that do a lot of showing, not telling, and I appreciate that. Even when it's doing a legacy story like this, we are being shown, not told, except for when we're doing world building, which we're gonna get into. Now, the thing that a lot of people had some complaints with was how the CG looked in the trailers. And while the movie on the big screen, it wasn't as bad as I would say recent Robert Rodriguez projects, it did have some moments where it's like, that's not real. Was disjarring a couple of times for me. It would take me out of sequences that were meant to be epic, and I can understand why they did this. One would be budget. It's so expensive to go out into these areas. It would be a lot less time consuming to be doing this in studios, especially with the technology that's been made by uh, Disney and whatnot for The Mandalorian. But there are moments where it's like, no, that's that's not real. <laughs> the other would be how Miller made Fury Road probably put that man into an anxiety attack every single fucking day. The amount of stunts and stuff that were happening in that movie, the film was delayed heavily because he was so concerned about not having anyone get hurt, which, you know, props to him. Good on him for actually being a decent human being as well as being a fantastic director. That's a trait that is a little bit rarer than you would think. But however, by going down this route, you do lose a lot of the authenticity that the Fury Road film had. Yes, Fury Road had CG in it, but as many would say, the best CGI is the stuff you don't see. And that was what Fury Road did. It had a lot of that mixing of real and fake put together. It took what was there and then removed what took you out of 
said scenario. Not to say that there aren't some really good action sequences. Admittedly, the best one doesn't happen until like an hour and 20 minutes in, whereas Fury Road just basically injected adrenaline into your arm right off the bat and that was the ride. This one's a little different. Like I said, it's a lot more of a building of Furiosa's character, but also a lot about the world and how Bullet Farm works and how Gas Town works and how Morton Joe is this deity amongst and how no one had ever been able to rise up against him before. I did like that for the most part. It's just when the film does eventually come to its ending, it hangs on this one conversation for what feels like hours. And this is already after watching a two hour plus movie that you felt every fucking minute of. Fury Road was just speed all the way through. Fantastic pacing. Not so much with this one. This one you do feel it in certain points and you really feel it at the end. To the point where there's this conversation that goes for so fucking long that when it finally comes to the end of it, the final you words said it's like why didn't you just do that this entire conversation is mute because of what they said at the end that could have been it why did miller decide to just go on this shakespearean like monologue of characters trauma and whatnot it was weird both my buddy and i kept looking at each other going why the fuck are they still talking uh, that amongst other parts did take me out of the movie but going back to the positives sound design oh my god Watching this in IMAX, I think my ears were ringing a little bit afterwards, and I'm very happy for that. That's uh, probably not the right thing to say. Truly, the sound design, both the car mixing, the carnage, the raw, just the fury of it all, along with Tom Holkenberg's music, fantastic. Absolutely great. The soundtrack is not as banging as Fury Road, but still pretty good. You do get a lot of the beats from Fury Road and like, yeah, gasoline and pain. That's the, that's the, the, the sound of this world and it's fantastic. Overall, Furiosa is good. Don't get me wrong. It's just not as good as Fury Road. And you're going to hear that a lot from a lot of other people. Oddly enough, it does feel like a collection of short stories put together to be made into a movie. And I think the thing that kind of makes me... Hmm? the most is that we waited nearly 10 years for this. And I feel like it was not exactly worth that amount of time. Like, I don't know, this is like the equivalent of Happy Feet 2 to Happy Feet? Is that the comparison I can make? But in the end, I'm gonna give Furiosa a four out of seven. It is not the woo I thought it was going to be, but it is still a fun time. It's just not Fury Road fun time. And I would also say maybe some of the other previous films are more enjoyable than this one. I, I said the things, as I said, a few of the things that are holding it back is the very odd pacing at times, the uncanny bits of CG that take you out of certain sequences, uh, the melodramatic ending. But then there are parts that will enrich you, like the action sequences, the world building, the design of the cars and everything like that, and Furiosa's story, you'll be pulled into that. For something that we've waited this long for, it's kind of just like a... Huh. We're not gonna get Fury Road 2, are we? Anyways guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I am very curious to see what you guys have to say. Please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.